we have uh, an alarm status that they can call us up 24-7 uh, and we can operate all over the world. And by insertion, by parachute, we are not bound to uh, big airports or uh, the sea. We can go wherever we want at any time, day and night. The C-130 is our uh, main airplane we're using. It's a very good airplane, very reliable, and it's, uh, it's always on standby for us for all types of operations. It can fly up until 800 kilometers an hour normally, but the exit speed we're using is uh, 130 knots indicated airspeed uh, if we jump out, because otherwise the pressure would be too much on our body, so we need it to slow down uh, before we exit the plane. The equipment we're currently using is a SOVV, it's a special operation vector rig. We can perform all types of jump with it. We can jump with it in static line, we can jump tandem with it, or even uh, with bundle with very heavy gear. We used to jump at uh, 8 kilometers altitude with oxygen masks. The equipment we can carry is unlimited. When we jump from uh, such an altitude, we have uh, several dangers. If your oxygen equipment is not working properly, you get hypoxia. If you get hypoxia, within a couple of minutes, you will start to feel blurry, get blue lips, and you can faint. The clothing we prefer for those types of jumps is uh, actually the gear we're gonna use on the ground. But, because it's too cold up there, we need to have some extra protection. When we start fitting at the C-130, the meaning is that you don't sweat. You work very slowly, because like today, for example, it's 32 degrees Celsius, but up there it's going to be minus 25. So you have directly a difference of temperature within half an hour of a 55 degrees Celsius. So you may not sweat on the ground, but you need to put on your gear to protect yourself against the cold once you're up there. For the navigation towards the drop zone, we always have a complete mission preparation, meaning we study 125 or 150,000 maps, we have aerial pictures and we have Google Earth and then we also put everything into a GPS system. So those three or four combined will lead us always to the drop zone and the landing zone where we need to be. We perform two types of jumps. Uh, the first one is a halo jump of high altitude, low opening, meaning we jump out of the aircraft at 25,000 feet. We fall about uh, two minutes and then pull open a parachute at uh, 5,000 feet. If you want to do an exit with a bundle, you need to have a roller system inside of the C-130. You put the heavy equipment, the bundle itself, on it, and then you push it outside of the aircraft. The bundle master then directly keeps the bundle in his hands, and once it starts its free run, he releases the bundle, and then he will be between the bundle and his drog system. We regroup with the complete team and then we land after two minutes of flight. The other type is a hey ho, high altitude, high opening. That means everybody's leaving the plane. You open your parachute within five to seven seconds. And then you form uh, the team together and then you fly for 25 minutes. We can do an infiltration depending on the high winds up until 50, 55 kilometers of distance and then before landing all together normally at 50 meters distance from each other. 